I'm going to show you how to make the 3D poppy uh, centerpiece from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop for the leaves and the petals, a 4x4 hoop for the center of the poppy. I've got matching bobbin and threads throughout for this, some florist tape, lots of pins because the poppies are freestanding lace and I've also got a, a balloon tree uh, stand which I bought on Amazon. We're going to use the stand for the flowers uh, and turning them into the stems. You're going to start off by hooping two layers of wash away stabilizer and the key to successful freestanding lace is good hooping. So place your two layers of stabilizer down and close your hoop as you would normally. You want to make sure that your stabiliser is nice and taut and then we're going to pin the life out of this because we don't want this to move while it's stitching because all the stitches need to um, mesh. So take your pin and place it down on the inner hoop, push it through and back round again, and back through the stabiliser. And you're going to do this all the way round, so m more pins than you normally would for doing an applique. So that's not going to go anywhere and make sure that your inner hoop is seated properly inside the outer one. Next you're going to load your file and it's the petals file that you want to load. And there's only two colours to this, red and black. So matching bobbin and thread for both and the same weight as well. And then we're going to stitch round number one which is the red. Load your black bobbin and thread into your machine and now you're going to stitch round number two. Load your file for the leaves into your machine along with your matching bobbin and thread. Do make sure that your bobbin is full and then you're going to hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that will stitch out all the leaves. So that's the leaves done. We can now free this from the hoop and just cut these out. And that's our leaves done. You can now set these aside and we will dissolve the excess stabilizer in a little while. We're now going to hoop and pin our two layers of wash away stabilizer in the 4x4 hoop and we're going to be joining our four petals whilst we stitch out the centre. First off you're going to load your black bobbin and thread into your machine 
and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you the placement outline for the petals. I'm just going to enlarge these marks with a pencil. We're going to place our first petal which is the top left quarter here. This um, left hand side of your petal, you, the very corner here, you want to line up to this line and you want this edge to come f no further forward than this line. So place it down and then tape it in place. And I'm going to use three pieces of tape for each petal. I'm leaving a clearance here for the stitching because it's going to do a run stitching there and back and then zigzag the edge. And the stitch order is going to be one, two, three and four. So that's the order that we're going to add our petals in. Once you've positioned your petal, load your hoop into your machine and then you're going to stitch uh, round number two and that's going to secure it. So this corner of your petal is going to line up with this marker here and this edge lining up to the inner stitch line and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three. You're going to place petal number three here with this edge lining up to this marker here and they will overlap both sides Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four. And that's going to secure it and then travel round ready for the next one. And for our last petal, this corner here with this marker here. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five. Now that all your petals are joined, you're going to stitch the centre and that's round number six. My camera's just thrown a tantrum, so I do apologise. You're now going to free this from the hoop. It was at this point that it decided to throw a tantrum, so I didn't catch it with me cutting it out, but same as everything that we do turn it over, trim around from the back, taking care not to cut any of the stitching or anything on the front of your hoop. So that's your poppy flower finished. We're now going to rinse out all the excess stabiliser from our poppy part. So I've got a towel, a shallow dish and some warm water. And you're just going to drop them in. Don't be nervous, it's, if you've uh, lined everything up it won't fall apart. And we want to rinse a fair bit of the stabiliser out but still leave enough in so that once we dry our pieces they hold their form. Once they're rinsed, I just pop them onto a towel. Normally I would put my towel on the floor, lay the parts flat, fold the towel over and then stand on it. And that does a pretty good job of wringing um, them out sufficiently enough to shape them for drying. So I'm just going to pat these dry, get as much moisture out as I possibly can. And now they're ready for shaping and drying. I've got 
got one of the tubes and the balloon and two of the balloon ends and I'm going to put one on each end take your leaf wrap it around the the straw and then with a clip I'm just going to hold that in place and then I'll pull that down like so and I just make a totem out of all the leaves because if I push this one up close to the other one it will hold that on the other clip to stop it flapping upwards and for the top one I just add an extra clip in front so that it does the same for the top one do that with all your leaves and you can you can dry loads on one straw all at once so when you've added all your leaves I've taken a piece of cord and I just slip it into one of these um, uh, notches where the balloon would normally be held and then I'm just going to hang that up in a warm place until it's dry for the poppy head to get that lovely crinkled edge that you see on poppies you're going to pull on the leaves don't be frightened about pulling it apart it's not going to come undone And then once you've stretched them slightly, just curve them inwards just a little bit. Once you're happy with the shape of it, I place mine on the bottom of a metal bowl and then sit that on the radiator. And that dries it through nicely and quite quickly as well. We're now going to start assembling our stems. Now in the kit that I bought, we've got the base, we've got lots of tubes that can slot together you can have these any length that you want You can. they've got some joiners in them so you can put two pieces together there's the main thick one in the centre and then there's the smaller ones that slot into the base around the outside so you can achieve a really good um, random look about the, flight, the height of your flowers sorry so this is the center for uh, the um, balloon center for the large um, straw and to join two together it's got a connector and one just sits inside the other and they just slot together and once they're slotted together you can um, dress them with your florist tape and leaves and then cut them to whatever length you want so I'm going to put these aside a minute we're now going to prepare the head of the stem uh, ready for um, attaching our poppy to it so take one of the straws and a, a balloon cup put them together then with your florist tape and I do advise you to get a, a, adhesive florist tape not like mine that doesn't stick to much at all and then you're going to wind it on starting a little way down and working your way up to the cup we're just going to go up and down a few times just so that the the two parts don't come apart and then you're going to bring this over down and back round and just work your way round until the top is completely covered
when you're happy that you've got a good covering you're then going to work your way back down the stem again we're going to break next you're going to add some tacky glue and this is just so that over time it doesn't dry out and come unstick and unravel so just put some on and then just wipe it in only the the top part here that we're going to add the glue to the rest will be absolutely fine and now the top surface now set that aside to dry so that's all my poppy parts all dried off so I can now take these off the stem I'm going to put that aside for a minute so take your poppy stem and you're going to start winding your florist tape back onto it again so starting up here and working your way down and then when you come to where you want to put one of your leaves just slip it over and then wind around the base of the leaf go around a few times And then work your way down again and when you come to where you want to put your next one slip that on and then wind around the base with your florist tape again go around a couple of times so that it holds it nice and securely and then work your way down to the next one slip the next one on wind the tape round and try and position them a little bit randomly around the stem now we want to leave about this much at the bottom because that's got to slot into the stand and we don't want the tape obstructing it so slot the last one in place and wind it round I'm going to stop there so that I've got my space for it to slot, uh, slot into the stand. I'm just going to come back up a little bit and then break that off. And just smooth your tape out so that it's not all nicely stuck down. And lastly, we're going to stick the poppy head onto there and I'm going to do that with um, tacky glue it's a bit awkward showing you because it's, everything's at an angle and I haven't got the height but you'll see so I'm just going to put a good coating of glue on here place the poppy in the center of the stem head and I'm going to set that aside and let it dry and any glue that seeps through is going to dry invisible so make sure that any glue that you use will dry transparent so I'm going to go and dry that for now 
and that's all nice and dry and one of the poppies complete all you need to do now is make the rest and I've made seven in all for my center and now we're going to assemble them onto the stand so take your stand starting with the center one push it into the stand and I'm going to work with the taller ones at the back and the smaller coming forward smaller and smaller so I'll take the longest ones and because this is going up against a flat surface I'm going to um, bring my flowers so that they're all pointing forwards but you can point them in whichever direction you want them depending on where you're going to put it so if you want all your we're going to put it in the middle of a table then you're going to place it so that it splays all around so there's the second one and third and I'm afraid my tape's not very good I really didn't pick that very well make sure you get good quality adhesive tape oh, and a bit on the bottom there I'm probably going to add a little bit of glue just on the ends there just to stop it coming unraveled. And then the medium ones. And then the smaller ones at the front. Going to change the camera angle so that you can see the effect and that's our centerpiece finished i hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published do pop along to creative kiwis facebook group there's lots of ideas help and inspiration there for everybody and thank you very much for joining me you'll find a link to this design in the video description below along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and also some discount codes. See you next time.